Well, hey, Facebook Five, <laughs> Facebook Live, Captain Rob Ferris. We are at the Miami Boat Show 2017. Mako's got an incredible boat we're going to introduce you today. I want you to log in, ask as many questions as you can. We'll try to answer them all. And uh, so let's take a quick spin. We're going to untie the boat, start taking a tour. So step on board with me. First, I want to introduce you, everybody, to Captain Jimmy Wickett. Hey guys, Jimmy's a charter guy down here, and he's been doing it about 20 years. So he's one of our pro staff on the Mako, Mako uh, side. He's going to take us out. So, Jimmy, what we got planned? We're, uh, we're going to get untied here out of the dock, make our uh, about a five-minute trek to the bridge where we can open this thing up and really show you guys what it's all about. And uh, you guys should be pretty impressed, that's for sure. And while uh, Jimmy's doing that, uh, while we get ready, I'm gonna we're going to untie. We're going to start going out in the bay. I'm going to walk through the features of the boat. So while I'm doing that, type in some questions, and we'll get to them as quick as we can. Hang in there. Well, as you can see, that was a tight squeeze. The boat is 11 foot 11 wide. So obviously Jimmy did a great job. We, we had about two inches on each side of the, the boat, left and right, port and starboard. We got her out of there. We're gonna head out in the bay. Uh, we got about a 12 minute ride at idle. So what I wanna do is follow me up. I've, got a, I've also got another special guest. I got Chuck Mooney. He's one of the project engineers for the boat. So if we get any really technical questions that are way over my head, I got the answers. So I tell you what, let's go on up to the bow and we'll take a look and see what some of the features are. First of all, this is one of the versions that the 41 comes in other than the standard. We have a family, a Blue Water Family Edition, and that is what this model is. So it's going to be geared a little bit more towards comfort. Although it is a great fishing vessel, we got some other features on here that we'll go through. One of them you'll first see is the forward seating. We've got a really nice lounge area up front. We also have filler pieces that become tables. Um, and again, the really unique stuff is all that stuff can be nicely stored down below. It's got a proper place for it. So when you don't need it, it's out of the way and stored away. But yet, it's still a fishing boat. It's still a Mako. We can walk all the way up to the bow. I've got full access, whether I'm anchoring or fishing. This forward seating is still very comfortable, good storage, but it's not in my way. Everything's nice pop-up, recess cleats, heavy-duty hardware. A, another Mako standard, as always. There's always somewhere to grab. So we've done some really nice recess grab bars. Here in the front, another standard feature. A, a great windless anchor system. Again, everything's neat, compact, very well fit and finish. You've got access to your road right down here. About 600, 700 foot of line in this one already. We can put more. Again, the storage in the, in the uh, cushions. As you can see in this one, we've got a, a table base for that goes right here for your table. So when you're entertaining guests or just relaxing at the sandbar, you've got a nice place to sit down and have a meal. Speaking of a meal, you can actually cook on this boat. We'll get to that in a minute. As we move a little bit further back, I'll show you the, I think this one's probably got the, uh, the inserts and the cushions in the forward hatch. So again, as you can see, we've got a nice area for all of your inserts to be nicely stowed away. They don't rattle, they don't slide around. They're, they've got a proper place for them and your cushions as well. So hey, we're back. You didn't miss much. We only went about 50 feet. So we're back online. Got a little techno error. 
So anyway, let me move back a little bit further on the boat. We're going over the front of the new 414. If you're just joining us, type in your questions. We'll get to them. We're going to look at them in just a minute as we're, as once we start running, and I'll answer them when we get back. So again, we've got a super nice lounge area. Really comfortable. Obviously, you got to have armrests. Boat like this. Huge storage. Of course, we filled this up with life jackets for the show so we can take a bunch of folks for the rides. Again, everywhere you look, you've got just comfort and luxury on the boat. They've done a fantastic job. The new Mako 414 is our new flagship. Um, some of you might have remembered that we introduced the 334 last year, and that's a phenomenal boat for us right now. This is a new one. So we're gonna, let's, come, let's come a little bit further back. I'm going to stop at the helm. Again, this is the... Uh, the Blue Water Family version, and uh, essentially from from this point back, it's going to be the same on the uh, the, the uh, Sport Fish Edition, and also the basic boat. We do some several things that are standard. I want Jimmy to go over what the electronics are on the boat as a standard package. It's all yours, Jimmy. All right, great. Well, as you see, we have the glass dash here. Um, you see the black background that kind of knocks down the glare. It also gives it a good looking. Uh, feature as well. We got two 17-inch Garmin screens as well as the uh, Vessel View 7 there as well. The Mercury stereo system here. This boat does come with active trim. Um, we also have a camera system set up. So there's a forward camera. We also have two aft cameras as well as an infrared camera that's located up on the on the hard top as well. So you can uh, basically move this camera around 360 degrees. Also put it in night mode and it will uh, kind of show you where you're going at night and pick up anything infrared. So joystick system is located over here so there's no need for a bow thruster also included in that is the uh, auto heading uh, feature as well as the skyhook feature uh, which I'm sure most of you are aware of that and what that actually does um, Garmin VHF handheld there as well as your Lenko auto trim tab set here up top here you got a couple big radio boxes you can kind of go and put whatever you want here whether you want to every boat we build is going to be semi custom so we can put your VHFs up top if you'd like or keep them on the dash Make for uh, nice glove boxes there. We've got a flip down, fold up, bolster style seating. Actually holds your hips really good as you're running. This boat, uh, this boat will do about 60 miles an hour top end. You guys are gonna get to see that real shortly. Um, we said we're 41 foot, 11 foot, 11 beam at 22,000 pounds, doing 60 miles an hour. That's a big boat moving across the water. That's right, really nice. So, Jimmy, we had our first question. I think you just answered it. 1675 is the max horsepower on the boat. This one's paired with the uh, quad 350 Mercs. I tell you what I do, but while he gets ready to get up and run, let's take a quick look around here. I want to show you inside the hell. So as we walk around the front, we've got a side entry door, and I'm going to open the door here. I'm going to let the camera come on around here. But essentially, we've got a beautiful area down below. We've got a nice head area, the sink area. These are where all of the, uh, the instrument and the battery switches and all the uh, the brains of the operation are right here. We've got one touch, uh, one touch operation for your batteries when you go home at night. The boat also powers up with just a key fob, turns everything on and off for you. If you notice here, this is our um, our gauge for our sea keeper. Yes, this boat actually has a sea keeper. Uh, we can take some questions on that in the future. It also has a generator. And everything's housed here behind this panel. If you notice over here, we have a berth. The 414 comes with a nice sleeping berth. It's a very comfortable space. It's air conditioned and heated as well. Speaking of the air conditioned and heat, they decided they also needed it coming out on the driver and the captain. So we have ports right here in the dash for your AC to keep you cool on those hot days. And Pretty advanced. Pretty advanced. You guys, so come on. You guys, you want to take a ride real quick? To, uh, keep going on the back. No, let's go for a ride, and we'll answer some more questions when we come back. Sounds and uh, take a look at the back of the boat. Sounds All right, everybody, hold on.
doing Miami in 80 degrees but go boating right so that's what we're doing a fantastic ride I'm sure that that showed real well on the screen so Jimmy Jimmy picked her up a little bit just wanted to show you what she could do we're gonna try to just go slowly a little bit further on back to the marina but what I want to do now is we'll talk a little bit more about the Hail Mary here just the comfort of it so while Jimmy's taking us back we'll just kind of talk about this you've got a nice three-person bolster setup as well of course Flip down seats, all three are independent. A nice footrest that folds down as well. And demonstrate. Nice. Super comfortable. So, again, we had mentioned earlier about this, the, uh, the technology that goes into this boat. And uh, part of it was the seat zone switching. So, all of our gauges are done through the dash. Uh, so we have the Garmin 17s paired with this, with the Mercury uh, vessel view. So, will Jimmy, have you shown the switching on the dash? I have not, and also we failed to mention that these seats are on electric slides. So the slides, the seats will move forward and backwards, so if, uh, depending on the height and comfort level of the driver. Uh, it's just as push you want, this whole slide system will move forward. You can adjust the seats. So, so Jimmy, why don't you switch over to a screen that shows us switching. So we're going to go right here to our media excuse me, to our switching system here. And everything on the boat is digitally switched. So we can turn anything basically, well, whether it's our bilge pumps, bait well pumps, headlights, uh, different light systems, uh, our spreader lights. We can also turn on uh, the sunshade, but we can put that in or out. So extend that sunshade out. Yeah, they're really another nice feature when you're out. The sun's just beating down on you. You can put the shade out. You can still enjoy a nice day on the water, whether it be fishing or just hanging out with the family. Another really nice feature on the Blue Water Family Edition. 
while Jimmy's while Jimmy's putting the shade back in, if we look at the, the top back here, we've got a really nice sink set up. Flip up cutting board as well as part of the sink. So we've got a nice cutting board that just becomes part of it. A couple cup holders. Guess what? I said we could cook on this thing. Here's what we're doing. We've got a nice built-in cooktop. We actually cooked hamburgers uh, about two weeks ago on this boat while we were on the water. So, you know, they were pretty good, to be honest with you. So a huge area, um, very, very similar in the uh, that we're going to have in the Sport Fish Edition. Of course, we'll have a, a live well system in the, in the Sport Fish, an additional live well um, in this in the version. It won't have the cooktop. But you can kind of build the boat the way you want as well, and we can start from a basic platform or whatever motor configuration, and we can kind of work from there. Different tops, second station or not. Um, another really neat feature is, is the dual live wells in the back. Easy access. They're both 50 gallons a piece. You can pressurize them and you can control the flow in and out of them. So therefore, if you have uh, different types of bait, you can split them up. Have one a little bit more delicate than the other. You can slow down the, the uh, current. You can also, like I said, pressurize the well so when you're running offshore, your bait don't have any sloshing. We've got a real nice seat system in the back. Plenty of seating in the back. Guess what? We've got another one over here. Oh, that's not the only one. How about here? So the Mako 414 has got plenty of seating. And again, this is standard. This is how the boat comes. We can do this in uh, starting with the base version of the uh, Sport Fish Edition and this. These seats, jump seats, are part of what we plan on doing. Of course, we couldn't leave the shark out. We had to backlight the shark. Very important. Another nice prep area cooler right here in the helm. You can store your bait in there or drinks or whatever you want to do. Some built-in rod holders. We have an option on this sport fish coming for tuna tubes. So uh, we're trying to think of all that stuff. Again, if you got questions or whatever, ideas, shoot them to us. If we don't get them to, right now. We'll get them in a little while and post them back on Facebook. Let me show you a little bit about the floor. Fish boxes. Again, it is a fish boat, great family features. Guys, I'm telling you, these are big boxes. And I am not a little dude. I'm also laying on top of some fenders in there. Another nice feature, you have the side tuna door. Swing in door. So when you're at the dock, easy access in and out of the boat as well. We have a dive ladder that clips in here. So you can either bring in your big fish or you can go diving for the day or swimming. We have a nice dive ladder that goes in here. Extremely well designed, a nice heavy duty robust door. Heavy lock system. Again, makeup quality. They've done a super, super job with the boat. Let's quick look at the helm station. A real nice pull-out drawer system. Divide it up for all different tackle needs or non-tackle needs. They've done a heck of a job, haven't they, Rob? They have. Awesome. Well, not only the amenities, but just the ride itself on this boat. It's got a 24 degree dead rise. It really makes this boat run through the water super smooth. Um, also, we didn't mention a really cool feature this boat has. This boat has a sea keeper as well. So a gyro system here actually takes all the roll out of the boat. Now, it's not on as we're speaking, so you see, might see us a little bit moving around. But as far as the sea keeper system, it's actually incredible. You can get into a big sea, and with that sea keeper on, it actually stabilizes the boat 100%. So um, the hull bottom on this boat has had a lot of tooling and different things like that. So that's the reason this ride is so smooth and dry. It's, uh, it's an awesome ride boat. We hope you guys uh, you guys get to take a ride one day and uh, do some fishing with us because it's, uh, it's pretty amazing, that's for sure.
Jimmy, I think I'm getting some questions here. Let's see right. if I can pull them up. We know the answers. <laughs> well, if we don't, we have Chuck here. He's hiding. Every time we move the camera, he goes and disappears. But we do have the actual brains behind this uh, this outfit. So, all right, what we got? Uh, some of the biggest upgrades from the 334. Well, obviously, how about the width and the length? That's huge upgrades. Um, again, 41 foot four long, 11 foot wide, 11 foot 11 wide. We have an incredible, Jimmy, come on over. We got um, a really large base station. We've got the cooktop. The, uh, I tell you what, one of the neatest things that we've done on this, and we're gonna bring it to the 334, but right now we have something now. We have our own app called the Mango Shark 2. This app allows you from the comfort of your home, office, desk, to say you wanna turn, check the, check the voltage on your batteries, turn the uh, generator on, charge your batteries. Uh, we have that you have that ability to do that with this boat so we've tied in all the uh, the techno stuff that has got to go along with all that it's run by sat phone um, or satellite connections so it doesn't have to be Wi-Fi connected you could be in the islands or the boat could be the islands uh, the other day I got an email or a text message and an email saying uh, the shore power is disconnected so I immediately you immediately call the marina say hey what's up is, is there something going on if you get a bilge uh, the bilge pump kicks on You'll actually be you can actually have your system send you a message phenomenal system much you know it, there's a lot of information that the boat will give you you're not even around plus you can actually turn some stuff off and on um, which is very helpful especially if you've got a uh, an area where you're not connected to shore power but this boat does have the option of a generator this one does um, it also you know to run the cooktop and, and also the sea keeper but it also will charge your battery say you're you know taking a, a two-week vacation or whatever out in the islands or whatever so you can you can do all that stuff without any real shore power. Do we have it? Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the questions. So another really cool feature that this boat has when you were talking about the shark tooth is the camera system setup. This boat actually has a DVR system. So as far as the security standpoint, they have a, they're actually infrared in their motion sensors. So when the boat's at still, this cameras will start recording automatically and keep that data. So it, as far as an insurance uh, standpoint, it will definitely bring your insurance rates down as well because it has a built-in security system. questions one one was what was the max speed we've had this one up a little over 61 miles an hour as you might have seen earlier if you just joined us live we're on the new 414 Mako um, we are at the Miami boat show so this is what we're doing today we're just trying to walk around the boat give you a, give you a heads up on the new product coming out again this is the blue water family edition it's got some really nice creature comforts uh, that we'll show you again when we get back to the dock another question we had is it's rated for 675 horsepower this boat is only has 1,400 horsepower on it, so how can it go 60 plus miles an hour? Well, we just did a great job with the hull. It is not a step tall. It's still a, a dead rise of 24 degrees. I think Jimmy might have mentioned that earlier. We believe that a nice, stable saltwater hull that can run that speed is, is in our opinion, where we want to be. And if we can get you doing that kind of miles per hour and, and that comfort, um, I think we've hit a home run on that. So let's hit the next question. We've got colors does it come in? Well, you know, we, we have this, the basic uh, Mako colors. Um, they have, uh, gosh, I'm going to lose my thought process on the colors. Chuck? Uh, Victory Red, Oahu Blue, Pompano Silver. Uh, we've got Onyx Black, uh, Mako White's Classic, and uh, of course we can do about any color. Hi guys. What color is this boat? Oh, this boat's Oahu Blue. Oahu Actually, Blue. you can see the, uh, the bottom side of the Hard top is also color matched. Thanks, Chuck. You're welcome. Oh, I, I did leave off seafoam green. Seafoam green was another color. Got a few other questions about uh, the rod holders and how many rod holders does it carry? Uh, this boat, I guess, well, the additional 15 rod holders on top of what this boat already has, but this one already has, uh, I think, where we got? We got a 10 on this one? 10. And uh, so the, the, uh, we put as many as you want on there, obviously, but uh, our package our package system that we're just coming out the door with has got uh, 15 additional on the Blue Water for, on the uh, fishing, uh, the Sport Fish Edition. And so let's take a quick look at the motors. I want Jimmy to do a little demonstration. 
Uh, one of the other cool things about the boat is, I think we mentioned earlier, we've got joystick piloting. So the motors actually will are independently steered. The computer takes over and the motors go in the direction that they need to go to do whatever you want to do with the boat. So Jimmy's actually just twisting the knob on the, on the steering wheel right now. He can just... We'll show some more of that when we actually get back to the dock and watch him you know, dock the boat. Again, we only had about three inches to spare on each side, so that'll be interesting to see how well he does. Any question you all right? We also have what? Sky hook on this, right? It's a sky hook as well. Sky hook, so if you're running offshore, you see a nice ledge that you want to fish, pull the, pull the throttles back, hit the sky hook button, GPS and the motors take over. They hold you in that spot. It's also great for when you're on a bridge, waiting on a bridge to open, waiting on a fuel dock. Uh, it'll just hold you there. Uh, also, autopilot comes with it. You want to explain the autopilot for? Them? Sure, it's got the auto heading sensor on there as well, so you don't need to put another auto, a separate auto, autopilot system on a boat like most other uh, autopilot systems out there. So basically, that is integrated into the joystick as well. That comes part of the uh, Skyhook joystick feature. It's a pretty, pretty cool little, uh, little extra in addition there to save you several thousand dollars. We got another question on the rod holders. So want to know where they were. We have six in the gun on each side and another uh, seven in, or six in the transom. And we also have rod storage inside the helm. Okay. Again, we can add as many of that, many of those things. Again, we want to essentially build the boat the way you want to build. So we want rod holders, certain angles, certain degrees, certain type of rod holders. We'll put them where you want them, as many as you want. Again, it's not as, as custom as we can for you. So that kind of stuff really is, is really whatever you want to do. What else can we talk about? Working customers get pricing. Oh, that's another good question we just had. Where can customers get pricing? Uh, any of the, any of the uh, Mako dealers out there, but we also have this boat already listed, all the specifications on mako-boats.com. Please go check that out. It lists a whole lot more in depth of, of what we've been talking about as far as the specifications of the boat, what comes standard on the boat, what type of options you'll be able to get, and, uh, and also you can gain pricing through that through that site as well. Um, the fuel capacity on this boat, Jimmy? This boat is 456. Excuse me, 464, I'm sorry. And that's because this boat has a sea keeper. Without the sea, the sea keeper, you can get about another 100 gallons out of it. So depends on if you want to go with the sea keeper option or not. Fantastic. Um, well, let's take her back to the marina and we'll do a little bit more running and then we'll do a little more questioning when we get back. How about that? That's great. All right.
guys, I, like I said, I want to emphasize again on this smooth dry ride on this 414 Mako. We placed the camera on the console itself here so we can take off. A lot of people always wonder how much bow rise does it have when we take off. As you can see, you never got the bow over where we couldn't see off the dash, so there's no real big bow rise on this boat. It actually just pops up on plane, even with the traditional style hull. Um, the ride is absolutely incredible. Also, we've never, since we've been on this ride, we've never touched a trim tap one time on this whole sea ride. So the boat doesn't fall over itself like some other boats when we're transferring weight. People are moving around on the boat as well as sea conditions. So the ride, like I said, with the 24 degree dead ride, just really, uh, really helps it improve. And we're really happy with the way she came out and the way she runs. It's a, it's an awesome ride boat at 22,000 pounds. It's still doing 60 miles an hour. Hey Jimmy, a couple other. Uh, by the way, if you're just logging on, we are Facebook Live at the Miami Boat Show, going over the new Mako 414, new flagship for the Mako company. Uh, Jimmy, I forgot to mention earlier some of the other creature comforts. We've got a nice refrigerator here. Jimmy looked a little parched, so I'm gonna give him a nice hey, cold bottle of water. Hey, you are my friend. I am your friend, yes. We also have a hot water heater on the boat, so you have hot water, hot and cold water. Um, just some really nice creature comforts that come part of this boat. We have right here on the floor, you know, we showed you the big, huge fish boxes, but something other a lot of boats don't have the opportunity to do to fuel, so fuel storage and things. We've arranged things that right here underneath my cameraman is another storage box. We, we have one of these on both sides of the boat. Again, another massive storage area. I could probably climb down in this one as well. So again, this is something that, uh, that you don't typically see because of the Way some boats have to be constructed this one planned for that additional huge subwoofers here in the side big cleats for real heavy duty ropes huge hoss bikes okay jimmy once you crank the stereo up real quick we've got some really nice large hoss bikes Got a good system by the way that's standard you know you don't have to go out and do some crazy stuff you can add to this obviously one more thing back here back to some of the fishing type stuff right here below our bilge access is this large large hatch here in the floor incredible access to all of our equipment here that you saw was the generator and of course right in front of that was the seat keeper here right here in the floor a couple other nice neat neat cool deck drains throughout obviously we carry all the water that might get on the deck from rain or, or real bad uh, conditions carries the drains out all drains through some really large scuffers here in the back corners and again some nice removable trays so you can clean that stuff out another nice touch again storage everywhere tackle storage tool holders spool spool holders for your, for your later lines for all of these seat here we've got some more storage here some large bins great storage in the side of the console this is where we're, we're housing our dive ladder that I mentioned earlier for the side door Again, yeah, just a fantastic new product put out by Mako. They really hit a home run with this. You know, we're gonna answer a few more questions um, once we get back to the dock. So keep the questions coming. Enjoy the sunny 80 degree day. I know we are. And uh, hit us up. This is, uh, we're gonna sign out for live on Facebook, but please keep the questions coming and we'll, we'll type the answers back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for joining everybody. Jimmy, thank you. Thank you Chuck, guys. thank you.